This tech tip will show you some easy ways to deal with arcs. We'll start by sketching the shape shown here. We'll use our line tool to sketch three lines. After these three straight lines are sketched, we'll need to add a tangent arc to finish the shape. The best way to do this is to leverage the auto transition functionality between arcs and lines. Simply move your mouse away from the point you just placed as if you were to draw a regular straight line segment, but then move your mouse back over that point so SOLIDWORKS will automatically switch from sketching lines to sketching tangent arcs. Now with the outline sketched, we'll need to add dimensions, but it can be often difficult to dimension to the tangency of the arc without knowing this little trick. As you can see, when dimensioning to an arc, SOLIDWORKS will always dimension to the center point of the radius unless you tell it otherwise. To dimension to the tangency or outside of an arc, you simply need to hold the shift key down when you click on the curved section. So here I'll hold the shift key down and click on the arc and just like that I can add a dimension to the tangency of this arc. But it can be used for more than just one arc. Just like before, all you have to do is hold down the shift key whenever you pick on any curved segment. So here I'm going to hold the shift key down and choose both arcs so I can add a dimension from the tangency of each of them.